All right, all of our cameras, uh, you know, it's a passive system. So unlike a spotlight, when you're shining your spotlight, you know in relationship to your vessel where that spot, or that, where that, that uh, camera, or excuse me, where that uh, light is, is uh, pointed. Well, thermal, you wouldn't, you don't know. Uh, so we, one of the things that we do on all of our cameras is uh, we output a, uh, we call it AccuPoint, color symbology, but you have position feedback and actual, on any display it's on, it'll tell you in relationship to the vessel um, where that, uh, where the imager is facing and what you're looking at. And then we've got other uh, automatic gain settings that we set, you know, any thermal imager is, is constantly making gain adjustments. So from a standpoint of user interface, you really don't have to touch it. I mean, you, it'll, if you, again, if you can watch TV, you can use one of these effects, and that's one of the beautiful things about it. Um, but there are some automatic gain settings in there that you can just press a button and it rolls through them to kind of help bring out those, uh, the details a little better in certain situations. Obviously, if you're offshore and there's not a lot of heat source around you, uh, is different, it's going to be different than if, say for instance, you're using it in and around a marina where there's a lot of, you know, other vessels and a lot of uh, more heat sources that are, that are present. And thermal is traditionally, a thermal image, as you see on that screen over there, is traditionally what we call white hot. And that's, you know, everybody knows it as, you know, uh, warmer objects appear lighter in color and cooler objects appear darker in color. Uh, well, it doesn't have to be that way. I mean, you can flip-flop that. We've, you know, we call black hot. Now, all our cameras will do, all of our mounted cameras will do this, um, where you flip-flop the polarity. Um, it's a user preference thing. Obviously, our, a lot of our commercial customers, um, a tug or um, a barge operation that's not, uh, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't have a nice, you know, Ray Marine E120 or uh, SimRad system, they may be running it into an off-the-shelf TV monitor, for instance, on, uh, in, a, in an enclosed pilot house where it's, uh, uh, the, the red lens is a lot easier on the eyes uh, in that pilot house in terms of, their, of their, night, their night blindness. And yes, we did add color. There is an entertainment value to thermal imaging. There's no doubt. We recognize that. And uh, uh, so we had enough customers that had seen the movie Predator and we added some color to it. <laughs> So now we get into the meat of it, the, uh, you know, the product lineup for, for FLIR. Uh, we, do, we just introduced our, our new handheld. It's the first thermal imaging camera, marinized uh, thermal imaging camera um, that is, uh, has been commercially available. We just introduced that at uh, the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show um, in the, the fall of last year. Been tremendously well received. Um, it is a, is a fantastic product. It's using the same technology that our other mounted cameras do, um, but a little bit more palatable price point. Obviously, uh, I know you look at that and think, geez, that's still, you know, that's still a tough pill to swallow, but when you think of all the benefits that it does provide, um, it, is, it is definitely a, uh, worth every penny. Um, we have six different models of that that range, in, obviously in feature and range, and, uh, and a variety, and I could leave some brochures for you, but the, the, you know, overall, the cameras are purpose-built. They float. We recognize the fact that mariners from time to time drop things. Um, and they, they are also submersible. So again, you can use a mountain um, uh, you know, in the conditions that you're used to out on, uh, offshore uh, without, any, without any concern for, for, for them being out in the water. Um, it's, they do have a video output as well, so if you want, you can just plug a, a video or plug the video for even from the handheld into into a monitor. Um, and it's a it's been very very well received product. The next step up from there is we get into our navigator series, and you know all of these cameras, you know, they all start with that core, if you will, that thermal core competency, the core, you know, where they're thermal images to begin with, and then in some of the cameras we add color cameras or, or you know, other uh, microlux or low light camera as well. Um, but our navigator, so you know, we call our navigator a single payload, it's just thermal. Um, it's a 36 degree uh, field of view. That camera's been out for a couple of years and is tremendously um, popular. A lot of recreational boaters, Sea Ray for instance, puts it, it's an option on their sport yachts and yachts um, since the 2010 model year was introduced, actually a little bit earlier, they started it back in January of uh, 2009, um, but it's also on every single Coast Guard uh, medium response vessel that's going out that's built by Quechek now, so as a search and rescue asset. So it is a very capable camera uh, that has, you know, an awful lot of appeal, not just with recreational boaters, but obviously with our, our friends in the Coast Guard. Um, the M series, I have a demo here. We got three different flavors of that guy. Um, that was, uh, 
introduced the, uh, the dual payload. You'll see one, this single payload is the one I have here, and dual payload, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Um, but that camera was introduced uh, last year at the, uh, at the Miami Boat Show, and um, it too has been very well received. It's got some additional features that the navigator doesn't, proportional control on the joystick. They all have joysticks to move them around. Um, some scanning features uh, when you're offshore, the cameras will scan. Um, some backing down features when you're, if you know, on larger vessels, it can be mounted so the camera is looking back at the stern as they're backing into a slip. Uh, that the, it has a, a feature that's called um, rear view mirror, where it'll flip flop the image. You know, similar to a, um, you know, like using a uh, um, rear view mirror. So left is left and right is right. When you're backing into a slip, it makes it a lot easier to do that. And then our, our Mac Daddy, a Voyager 2 gyro stabilized, very long range uh, camera. So we talked a little bit about the first mate. Um, again, some of the different variations of it. We've got cameras that have an SD card, um, so you can actually take you know, a still image uh, capture and a th you know, thermal image. Um, I did say that there is an entertainment value to thermal cameras, so uh, that, that if you see something really cool and thermal, you can take it back and put it on your computer and share it with your friends. Um, it has a 2x uh, digital zoom, and uh, again, I mentioned the environmentals on it. It's, it. it's designed to, it's purpose built, so it floats and it's submersible. And this is, this is some imagery from, the, uh, from our handheld camera. Again, you see um, from a, just a safety aspect, you know, if you're looking at a camera just for the purpose of, of you know, that uh, moment that we all hope never happens where we got somebody in the water and we can't find them. Um, you'll see a person very, very bright, and as opposed to, you know, trying to see them with a, a spotlight, um, you can see there's quite a significant difference there. Um, and then the portability of a handheld is obviously nice. You know, you can if you've got multiple boats, or if you want to take it with you while you go camping uh, with the kids. Um, there you go. You've got uh, that ability to take it anywhere you want. It is battery operated. It's five hour. Uh, it's just, and they're rechargeable batteries. Got a five hour life if it's used straight up, but it does go into a sleep mode similar to a computer would. So, uh, you know, when it's up at your eye, it's working. And uh, when you set it down, it'll go into a sleep mode. Um, and then just press any button and, it's, and it's, you're back up and running. So very, very simple to use, uh, very simple user interface. This is a bit of an eye chart, but this just, in a, this is in the brochure, but uh, you can see there's, there's four different, well, really primarily focused recreational. I said, I know I said six, but the, the two on the high end are very narrow range. They're more for uh, law, law enforcement applications uh, in large, like cruise liners that are using them for um, a person overboard. Um, but uh, this is on our brochure. But the primary difference being the first two are 240 by 180 resolution. Uh, the second two, or it's our XP and XP Plus, are 320 by 240. That translates into a better image um, and, and distance. For our entry level camera, which has an MSRP of about $3,000, you're over half a mile to see a small boat. Um, you know, the first main XP and XP Plus, which have the higher resolution, it's a little less than a mile. And then you, we have an extender for that for those cameras as well that uh, will allow the camera to see out over uh, over a mile. 